Good morning, guys. Today we're gonna to do some more coasters. I'm doing three different videos with fabric coasters. So here was another one we did, and I just did a crock shape. And one you can see I um, tea stained, and one I didn't. And then we stamped it with one of our cute crock stamps from IOD. And we did some freeform stitching around. This one I did in a white thread. And this one I did in a dark thread. And this one I did in a dark thread and I tea stained. And you can see there's just some cute vintage fabrics on the back. And this is how easy the template is. So let's just get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find a light colored fabric. I'm using this piece of linen. You're gonna transfer your image onto here. And there's several different ways, whether you have the transfer markers or pencils and iron it on. So I either use a light box or my window and I'll just put this in my window with this over and use a light pencil and just transfer this image on here. And then I'm gonna put my batting or a piece of wool or something behind this to get started. Now we're just gonna do our freeform stitching on our sewing machine and do all these lines. A lot of times I would use my freeform foot, but this is pretty basic lines. So I'm just gonna use my regular foot and just kind of go around my pencil lines. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to cut all of our little threads. And now we're going to sew our back on. So now you find what you're going to use for your back. And what I'm going to do is carefully just make a small slit in the center so I know that'll be in the center of that. And um, you're going to lay the right sides together like this. And I can see my slit is in the center and it's covering it all. And I'm gonna sew all, I'm gonna turn over so you can see where your stitch lines were and just sew just on the outside edge of that. Now let's just trim it out close to the edge and we'll turn it inside out. Okay, now we'll just turn it inside out through the center hole. I had this big slit here. And so I just took a piece of backing fabric and put some steam seam, which is a fusible web on the back you could even stamp this piece or put something really cute on it too if you want to. And after I iron this down flat, I'm just going to iron this to here and it'll seal your hole and you have a nice bunny. So what I'm gonna do next is take one of my crop stamps and I thought these were just fun because this is a crop and you could use any of them. Cute. Now I'm just gonna heat set it with my iron and you can see on the back, I had just ironed the extra strip with the steam seam onto the back to seal that. Like I did with this, I just used coffee and I just used a towel and some coffee that I had had and I put it on and let it soak on there and then I ironed it and it gave it this really fun look. So either way, that would work really well. Okay, so now that you see how easy this was, you can take any shape, draw it out, use the same concept, but come up with your own creative idea, whether it was a jar, a teacup, a crock, what, whatever it is you would like to do. And then you just sew the outside, sew onto the back, and stamp it. And then you're done. Have fun making your crock coasters. <laughs>